This is a and, uh. Hi guys, welcome back. So in this episode, we're going to do a fast food meal. As you know, it could be zege, it could be anything, but we're gonna do a burger. It has to be layered well, it has to be spiced well, or else it's just a patty. So you know in Tanzania, we, we kind of like have problems with good burgers, so I'm here to like show my own twist. So please join me in embracing how to make the holy grail of a good burger. We're gonna make the ultimate non-basic Kilimanjaro burger. Slice the red onion and put it on the food processor and blitz it until chopped. Add Dijon mustard, dried oregano, cumin, nutmeg, garlic powder and a dab of Worcestershire sauce to the processor. Finally grate Parmesan cheese and blitz it all together. Return the mixture on the bowl of minced meat, then crack two eggs and add the breadcrumbs. Then get your clean hands in there. Scrunch while mixing it all up together. After this, season well with salt and pepper. Divide the mixture up into even sized bowls and then pat them into burger shapes with your hands. Then pop them in the fridge to firm for up to five to 10 minutes. Let's make the chimichurri sauce. Get your food processor, add a handful of coriander and parsley, plus three garlic cloves, add paprika and dried oregano. Since I love my sauces hot, let's add some tiger chili. Now add half a cup of olive oil, plus two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Season well with salt and pepper, then you know what time it is. Blitzing time! Add some chili olive oil or extra virgin olive oil, depending on what you like. Put your sauce in a bowl and set it aside. Now let's move on to making the 6,000 island sauce. First step, get a bowl and chop your lettuce. Add half a cup of garlic mayo to the bowl, as well as a quarter cup of ketchup and a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Here we go again with the spice. Squeeze some sriracha, depending on how hot you want it. Then season it with salt and pepper, Add the chopped lettuce onto your sauce mixture. Then chop up a spring onion, add it, and mix it all together with a hint of apple cider vinegar for some tanginess. Now guys, I couldn't let this burger be sad and boring. So to zhuzh it up, I made a sunny side up egg and candy be bacon. Let's get back to the patties. By now, your griddle pan should be hot. Get your burgers out of the fridge, drizzle them with a little olive oil and season well with salt and pepper. Cook your burgers for 5 minutes depending on how well or rare you want them. I prefer mine, medium rare. Add the cheddar cheese to the patties. In order to melt the cheese fast, add some water and cover it. And voila, we got you a melted cheddar beef patty. Put your buns on the griddle to toast. Once toasted, let's assemble the burger. To all my humans, this is what a non-basic burger looks like. Have it with the side of Cajun fries and enjoy. Don't mind the calories, wink wink.